So before we go any further, I'd like to say that this is his video. I'm just talking over it clearly. He has an affiliate link to buy this product. I'll include that down in my description. Again, it's his affiliate link, not mine. So I don't want him or anybody saying, oh, you know, we stealing stuff. His video already has close to 2 million views. He uploaded it a month ago. But the reason that I wanted to make this is one, I forgot to record one last summer when I bought mine. And I'll have pictures of me with it periodically because it, you know, it's, it's a nice device. Uh, but two, after watching his video, which was presented to me via the YouTube al algorithm, I don't know why, but it was there. And I saw, hey, I know what I know what that product is. After watching his video, I really feel like his short term review was good, but it didn't offer the full picture. So I will say, and if you don't watch anything else of my video, he is in Utah and I'm assuming he recorded this video a little over a month ago. So in May or maybe even the end of April, the, the high for the temperature there today, 78 degrees. So not hot at all. He like right now, I've, I've just set the air in the house to 80. Like I, you know, I'll bring it down a little bit, but 78, if that's the high for the day, is not going to really give you a great idea of how good this machine is. I bought it last March, I believe, March of 2023, maybe April. Um, but I was living in Georgia. I was there for the entire summer, you know, into the fall. I was there for a whole year. So I, I got there at the end of, uh, end of spring and went through the entire summer. But the room that I put it in was a bedroom above, uh, above the garage and the room itself was not temperature controlled. So no central air coming in and there was minimal insulation around the room. Uh, and all but three of the, the walls were exterior walls. So definitely, I eh, will say two and a half were exterior walls. So definitely, uh, it was it was it was almost outside like when you turn the air off when you when I would turn that off it would get immediately hot in there because there was nothing to keep the air in but when using it it cooled the room off great and then also it cooled the room off quickly and it was quiet and that was probably the number one thing I was looking for is how loud is this window unit going to be because window units uh, that I've used in the past have been extremely loud so let's watch his video and there are a few things that I'm gonna to wanna to include slash talk about while he goes through his, his spiel. I was blown away when I saw the design of the new GE Profile Smart Window Air Conditioner. So in this video, we're gonna show you how this guy works and what sets it apart from all of the other window units on the market. I wanna start by saying this video is not sponsored by GE. I have no affiliation with them. I saw this AC unit and I was super intrigued and I have been loving this AC unit. So what makes this window AC unit so much different than all of the rest? Well, it's pretty clear this GE profile is a saddle design. So number one, it's much safer than a traditional window unit in that it's not going to fall out or someone can't just rip it out nearly as easily. But the great part is that you have complete view out of your window. Yes. And I feel like that too was, it wasn't something I was looking for, but it was, it was a, an added benefit of, oh great, I'm so used to window units that block you know my entire view out of a window. But with this one, yeah, you essentially get the entire view back. And like I said, I was on the second floor, so now I'm able to actually enjoy staring out that window, which I wanna say for the entire time that I've, I've ever been in that house, I could not do that because of the, the traditional window units. So I'm, I'm happy that this thing was created because yeah, it is nice to be able to look outside unsightly and blocking out the space of that window. It just looks really nice like it's meant to be there. Now the other cool feature about this is not only is it a saddle type design, but it can expand up to 13 and 3 quarter inches, which is massive. Um, if you think about a standard wall, it could be about 8 inches for wood framing. If it's concrete, it could be 10 inches, but this thing goes to almost 14 inches, so it can be put in pretty much any window application. Now, as far as the installation process, I did this all by myself. You don't even really need two people. It's not super heavy. Yeah, maybe I'm just a weak bitch because I needed help. Or well, I'll say I, I wanted help. Could I have done it by myself? Maybe, I don't know. But the one thing he's not showing is how big the box is that that thing came in. Uh, and then also I installed it um, in a second floor window. So whether just taking the box or the unit itself up a flight of stairs, 
by myself was not a good idea. So I waited for help. <laughs> but hey, he, I'm, yeah, he, he was able to do it by himself. Because it has that saddle in the middle, you can kind of grab onto it, set it in your window, and you're good to go. All right, so our unit is in place. As you can see, this was the factory holes, and we moved it over to the next set. They don't mention that in the instructions, but the sets are like two inches apart. So, so two things, uh, you know, not that it's super important. I mean, I, I thought I remembered reading the instructions saying, hey, you need to, if you need to adjust it, you know, unscrew these holes. In fact, I remember how how hard it was to get at least one of those screws out. Like my dad and I were working on it and we were applying a lot of pressure to try to actually break the screw from how it was installed in the factory. Now this thing right here is he's uh, expanding or extending the feet to help support the unit. I screwed up something on the inside of the insulation and we'll talk about that when he gets there. But essentially I extended the feet, but instead of the feet uh, pushing up either whether he, he has siding here, the house I was in, had uh, stucco instead of it pushing directly on the stucco it was actually put pushing on the window trim and it ended up damaging the trim the weight of the unit was pushing into the trim so now there's two holes or gaps or indentations i'll call them in the trim of, of that house unfortunately so just yeah be cautious of, of where your feet are making contact with the building consider subscribing what i do now is get these pushed up against the siding of the house and that'll keep this from coming down. All right, so the arms are extended out. Alternatively, what you could do if you don't wanna extend it out to the next one is you can actually drill with a self tapper into this, no problem. Um, they just have preset holes here um, that are about two inches apart. So the arms are out, this is fully supported and it's uh, pretty solid thus far. We're going to get these sealed up and then we'll show you how this works. All right, so the unit is set in place and I just wanted to show you how this is kind of configured here. So basically we have a stopper here. This prevents anyone from trying to pull this open and it works really well. It has these little grooves here to keep it really secure. And then we have these foam pieces. So the kit comes with a big block of foam. You simply cut it to whatever size these squares are. And then you put these little uh, tabs in and they can adhere to the actual unit so they don't move around. And then you'll notice um, there's some little gaps here and maybe um, at the very top. It also comes with this clean looking white adhesive insulation. So we can put that here if we wanted to and kind of all the way around really would look nice. But being as this is a temporary install, I'm not gonna put this on. Yeah, so I didn't install uh, that little adhesive foam as well. Um, actually, you know, I might have actually installed it on top of, I don't remember. But what I do know I did is I wrapped a blanket around the unit to help seal some of the holes that I also had as well. Like I, I felt like that was a, a suitable temporary solution that ended up just lasting, uh, but it didn't require me to have to stick anything else to the, to the actual unit come with this. Now it also comes with this and one thing I noticed is that um, when it is working a lot you'll have a water splashing sound primarily on the outside. Sometimes you can hear it on the inside but this actually really mitigates it because this um, sound can go through this from outside. So there's this little foam piece and it's perfectly sized to where you can just tuck it, hide it behind this um, window trim piece. Now the, the window that I put my unit in was clearly older than this window. And I don't know what standards were like back in the mid nineties. <laughs> I'm assuming that's how old that window was. Uh, so yeah, I would, long story short, the foam piece for me, it, it wasn't a perfect fit. So I think I needed to grab some foam from the previous installation. And even then it wasn't as snug as it needed to be. Um, so just keep that in mind that you might need to still go out to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever home, uh, home improvement store and purchase some additional foam to help with that because he's talking about it from oh it helps block out the sound that uh, of dripping when it's when it's actually running but it also blocks the air from coming in whether it's hot or cold air you know depending on the time of the year and if, if this you know when when this this unit is in the window but also insects and that for me was one of the things that I wanted to try to block out insects and there was one bug that made it through that was massive and I'm not exaggerating 
And I remember I was laying on the couch reading, the thing was running and I heard something kind of uh, shuffling around in the blind and I turn around and I'm like, oh shit, like, I, <laughs> I, let me try to kill this thing because it, it, was, it was big, yeah, it was massive, whatever it was. And that really uh, mitigates the sound to where you can't hardly hear it inside. And then the unit also comes with these two foam blocks, one of which is there to prevent any damage from your trim. And so you can place that there and then one under here as well. So yeah, he's definitely a professional. I'm sorry, I, I froze it right there, but you can see where the two blocks do are. I did not do it right. I'll just say that, no reason. No, just follow what he did. I did it wrong. So yeah, that, that's the correct way to do it. The controls are very easy to use. We simply have a power button here. We have a sleep button, which is great. What that does is it puts it in. A oh, and in fact, the one thing I will say, because I, this is why mine was wrong, is the instructions tell you uh, when in, when you're installing it and you know you're, you're concerned about the the interior portion of it it should be x number of inches away from an outlet and the wall that i was using or the wall that, that was uh, you know holding this window there was an outlet right there so i think i needed to raise it a little bit so I, you know i screwed something up long story short but yeah what what you saw on the, that previous screen yeah i believe that's the, the correct way to do it and even if it's not what the vendor says it still looks like it worked perfectly fine Plus, this guy seems to, like, he knows what he's talking about. So, fo follow his lead. Lower sound mode for about eight hours while you're sleeping, and then it'll ramp back up once that eight-hour timer has elapsed. Then we have the temperature adjustment, speed adjustment, and mode. And this also has a dry feature, so it acts as a dehumidifier as well. And then, of course, we have our filter light that tells us when to replace the filter. And that takes us into the last button, which is the Wi-Fi feature. Again, something that makes this super awesome. So the app is really easy to download. It's super easy to connect. Now, I mean, I gotta say, you know, like if you're watching this video, you see that I have, you know, 300 videos up and not a ton of subscribers. So uh, people watch stuff and they're like, what is the guy even talking about? <laughs> but I feel like I know what I'm talking about. You know, I, you know, a couple of accolades here and there. But when I tell you, I could not get that app to install. I don't know what I was doing wrong. Like I can see he has uh, an iPhone. I see the little the little notch up there, or not the notch, the uh, dynamic island. I'm pretty sure at that time I was using an Android device still. So maybe there was something wrong with the Android app. I don't know, but I wasn't able to install it. And at the end of the day, I was like, well, I really, I don't need it. Like the, the, the benefits he's going to mention, yes. But since I guess I didn't care enough, I said, well, let me just do without the app and, and I'll be perfectly fine. Plus, and just keep this in mind for all products, the moment you connect it to a network, to the internet, now the device manufacturers can see it and they can push some good updates to your device and they can also push some bad ones. So keep that in mind that, yeah, there's a, you know, a little computer inside. You can set a schedule, you can adjust the temperature on the fly. You can also see what the power usage is, which is a really cool feature of this unit that a lot uh, don't have. And this unit is also compatible with voice control, so you can tell it verbally what to do through Alexa, which makes it super cool. Now, as far as power consumption, obviously that depends on the BTU, the size space that you're trying to condition. But this... Yeah, so that, I mean, yeah, that, that's just an important fact. Uh, and also, uh, I believe that there are at least two different units uh, of this, this model, like the, a bigger one and a smaller one. I, I forget exactly, you know, what the BTUs are, but... Buying one that is too small for, you know, your room could negatively impact things or negatively impact your experience. So just make sure you're buying the correct one for whatever room size you actually have. It does have an inverter compressor. And what that means is that it is completely variable speed. So you're not going to hear the compressor kick on like a regular AC unit. And it's supposed to be 34% more efficient than a traditional air conditioner. So this thing is packed with cool features and can save you money in the long run. Now, as far as maintenance on these things, the only real thing to keep in mind is keeping those filters cleaned. You simply remove this front piece, you can take that filter out, rinse it off, put it back in, and you're good to go. Now, this AC unit is extremely quiet. It's probably one of the quietest AC units I've ever seen. Coming in at under 50 decibels inside and outside about 60 decibels, give or take, um, there was some surrounding noise, so these might not be totally accurate, but it gives you an idea on the noise level. As far as the sleep mode, it's really quiet. You could easily put this in your bedroom and keep it ice cold and sleep really nicely. 
So, yeah, and I, I will attest to that. Again, he he's in Utah in whatever, I'm assuming May or maybe even April. So, And he'll show later on that the temperature high for today is 78 there at the time of recording. But I'm telling you, I was using this unit in Georgia in a non-temperature controlled, minimally insulated room that was above a garage for an entire summer. It was well worth the money. So this unit's been running for a few hours now, and I just wanted to show you what the temperature is coming out. And I, I feel like he should have also paused a little bit right here, which you know he kind of does, but it's on. <laughs> and you can barely even hear it while he's this close to it. So it's super quiet. It is, it is extremely quiet. But, and I guess I should caveat that you can ramp it up. So don't think it's only quiet, but yeah, you have the different modes. So quiet, if you want it to be in your room, like where I had it, I, I used it when I was sleeping. So definitely worth it. In fact, I, I'm not gonna go back and look through, but some of my YouTube videos that I've recorded, it's been on while I recorded the videos. So yeah, it's, it's super quiet. We've got 36 degree air coming out of this, just blowing icicles. And as you can see inside, it's 66 degrees. Um, currently the high for today is 78. So again, I, I think this is my third time saying it, but we're at least seeing it now. <laughs> He's in Utah, you'll see it later. If the high today is 78, I'm going to assume it's either the beginning of May or even maybe late April. He is not able to truly experience how good it is. So I am telling you, and maybe if he's still using it today, later on, and we're at almost in June now, it might be a little bit hotter. I will say it at least one more time. I was in Georgia during the summer in a minimally insulated, non-temperature controlled room above a garage. And this was probably one of the best purchases I've ever made because of how good it was at doing what it's supposed to do. Get the room cold and do it quietly. So this thing is working awesome. Now if you notice though, one thing that I did notice with this air conditioner is that it makes a water sound. So we're gonna hop outside and show you what that is. Maybe we can mitigate it, but I want you guys to be familiar with that before you potentially purchase this product. All right, so I was getting a noise and now you can tell that noise is completely gone. There's no more water splashing sound. And the way that I mitigated that was tightening these some more to where there's a slight angle going this way. Now, the way this works is because it doesn't drain in here, obviously it has a little pump that pumps it out to here and it doesn't take much. Um, but if you have the water over here, that fan will make that water at the bottom of the tray evaporate but on especially rainy days or really humid days, you're gonna collect a lot of water and you will get drainage out of these holes here. So yeah, right now, super quiet, probably about 60 decibels. And um, this unit doesn't stick far off of the building, probably 14 inches if I had to guess. Really nice design, pulling tons and tons of heat out of the home and conditioning it really nice. Well guys, if you're on the market for a new window air conditioner, I highly recommend the GE Profile Smart AC unit. The unique saddle design, the improved efficiency, and the ease of installation make this a no-brainer when it comes to upgrading your air conditioner. Now, if you're interested in picking up this product, you can find it in the video description below. All right, and I'm gonna cut it right there. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the affiliate link that's in my description is his link. He did all the work for the video, even though we technically did the same amount of work because I installed one myself and I guess a little less work since I actually had help doing it and still kind of did it incorrectly. But I can't recommend this device more. After years of using regular window units that, I mean, did the job, but they were loud, they blocked your view, uh, and I should have mentioned it at the beginning and maybe I'll include, you know, a video or a couple of pictures. But the main reason is I took apart the one that I, I had previously been using for probably a decade and it was so moldy on the inside. And I said, uh, I mean, I did clean it, but I still said, hey, I could do better. Maybe I should uh, maybe I should I, sh I should, you know, get a better one or something. So 
Um, so yeah, I, I ended up getting this and I, I could not be more satisfied with it. Consider subscribing.